Today I'm going to show you how you're going to access your learning maps folder in Google Drive and also how to save a template for your learning map into your shared RSD learning maps folder. So the first thing we're going to do is you're going to go to drive.google.com and you'll have to log in with your RSD shafter.org email account and everyone has been giving uh, been sent a document or a folder excuse me in incoming so if you click on incoming you'll be able to see a folder called RSD learning maps in order to add this to your drive you're going to have to mouse your way over and you're going to have to click a button that says add to my drive once you do that it's going to prompt you to ask you which folder you want it in and you can just move it into the general my drive and then you'll receive a notification saying that the folder has been moved there and you'll also notice that you have a folder uh, your uh, your location for that folder so in order to see it you would go to my drive on the left you see a little triangle pull down window and there's the folder if you click on it, you'll see that you have access to all of the grade levels, except um, you, uh, you'll only have viewing permissions for all of the folders. However, Learning Map Committee members will have editing permissions for their specific grade level. For example, um, if I was invited to, if I'm a Learning Map Committee member in first grade, I would have editing rights for anything in this folder. Now, um, in order to um, find your templates at the bottom of RSD Learning Maps folder, you see there's two Google Docs, ELA Sample Module Template V4 and Math. And if I was an ELA, if I was an ELA Learning Map Committee member, I would double click on the ELA Sample Module and when you open it you'll only have uh, viewing permissions it will say view only however um, each um, committee will go to file and make a copy and what this will do is it will save a copy in your own drive and you'll have to rename it so quarter for first grade ELA learning map, however, you, however uh, Heidi decides to have you title it, then press OK. And now instead of saying view only, you have full editing permissions on this document. However, in order for you to collaborate with your learning map committee members, you're going to have to move this document to that shared RSD learning maps folder in your grade level. The way that you would do that is the document that you've just made a copy of. You're going to go to this folder next to the star that says move to folder or you can go to file move to folder and you click on move to folder and then it's going to ask you which folder do you want to move this to. If you use those triangle pull down menus you'll be able to find the folder of your grade level select it with a check mark and you'll click move and if you're not sure you can click on this little folder and it is now in first to double check you'd go back to your drive triple click on first and here is the document that we've just made a copy of now there's other people in that folder who have editing permissions and those are the math and ELA learning map committee members so they all have editing permissions to anything that's put in this folder. And that is how you find your RSD Learning Maps folder and create a copy of your ELA Learning Map template. And for math members, you do the same thing with math. Thank you for watching.